so now i have already masked the last the next thing is to draw our center line which i have already done now watch closely you're going to see a line you see it this is a line where the pattern is going to start from the front i have already made a video on that so measure from that line to this point half inch half inch from that line and then from here to here you measure one inch from that half inch measurement you measure another one inch measurement so now we are going to start the drawing from that half inch measurement to bring it down to this point here where our line is on the last you see the line here I have made a video on that you're going to see it at the end of this video on your screen so you take the drawing to that point with a curve and then you take another measurement from that point from here to here one inch measurement one inch measurement so after taking that measurement you're going to take another measurement from here the feather edge to somewhere here one and half inch one and half inch from the feather edge so once you have gotten that measure from here to here again one inch just to make sure that your measurement at this point and on the feather edge are the same so take your diagram from there then join it to that one and half inch measurement you see here is the one and half inch measurement so you measure again from here to here one and half inch one and half inch So after measuring that one and a half inch, take the diagram from that point, take it from that point up to the one and a half inch here. You see it? So you're going to have a curve at that point. So you see it? Now we're going to take another measurement from here to here, one inch again, one inch measurement one inch measurement so we take the measurement and also we take from here to here one inch again one inch so now we are going to pick the drawing from here remember our measurement at that center line you pick the drawing from that point down to the measurements of the one inch you see the curve it is not going to be straight just pick a curve from there to that one inch so take the diagram completely down to the feather edge and with that we are done with the sketching you can see it so you see it we are done with the sketch so now let's cut the pattern out and develop it so remove the pattern from your last after cutting it out and then fold your cardboard paper into two equal parts that will contain the pattern and then paste the center line of that pattern to the folded edge once you are done doing that make some corrections and adjustments where necessary
and after doing that the next thing we are going to be doing is to add our lasting allowance and our lasting allowance is going to be one and a half inch on both sides one and a half inch on both sides so now we are going to take this line here down take it down make sure it corresponds with the curve and this one also so after taking them down we are going to take our measurements one inch remember the width is one inch so we're going to take the measurement to make sure that we have the same measurement along our lasting allowance so i'm going to do the same on this side and after doing that we extend this part of the line also so we have added our lasting allowance the next thing is to cut the pattern into shape and i also have to staple it remember to staple because it will help you to have the same shape on both sides of the pattern so i am done cutting the pattern into shape so i'm removing the staple pin and uh, this is what we have arrived at so the first part of the pattern is ready now now i have to mark the facing the pattern facing so this is it you see it so let's proceed to the next one now draw a straight line on your cardboard paper after drawing a straight line on your cardboard paper Bring your compass and then install your pencil to your compass. Take a measurement from your measuring tape. You are going to be taking 1.2 inch measurement. 1.2 inch measurement. So once you have taken that from your measuring tape, you take a circle. You take a circle, place your compass on that uh, horizontal line and take a circle. After taking the circle, note where your compass stood before you took that circle so not to that point now you're going to take another measurement which is half inch measurement from your measuring tape half inch measurement half inch so once you have taken that measurement half inch replace your compass at that spot and then take another circle inside the first one sorry let me adjust this pencil a little bit so take another circle inside the first one So after doing that, we are going to take a curve from this side of the circle, take a curve, you 
see it you see what i'm doing so now we stop at this point and pick our ruler pick your ruler and then place it close to that your curve and then use your angle 90 ruler place it on the horizontal line close to the ruler just to make sure that the vertical line you are taking is straight so you see here corresponds and here too just to make sure then remove this and take a straight line close to that curve you see it so now the vertical line has joined with our curve and we are going to take a measurement of um, 0.7 that is going to be the width here 0.7 inch 0.7 inch so after taking that measurement you take another vertical line on that measurement and then complete the curve on this side make sure it is uniform so and with that we are done with this part of the pattern so let's cut it into shape So now it is time to cut off the inner circle and you see how I am doing it. So that is how you are going to do yours. And with that we are done. So this is what we have arrived at. So now let's assemble the pattern. Fold these two into two, you see it, fold it into two like this, then pass it through the hole and then that is how the pattern is going to sit together. So this is it, see it, so let's cut off some excess from this. So this is what we have arrived at. Let's try it out on our last. You see it? So if you have any question, feel free to drop them in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get update because more videos are still coming on the way. So on your screen right now is the video on how to get the markings on the last. So click on it to watch. Have a nice day and um, see you in my next video.